Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you use Newton Soft.json. I will show you how you deserialize and how you serialize JSON and also how you do it with a class that you already created. So like an object, like a person, and also if it's just a custom JSON string that you get in return. So as you can see, I already created the person class that contains the name, age, and city of a person. And this will be the template that I'm going to use in the examples. So first of all, let's right click the console app to manage the NuGet packages so that we can install newtonsoft.json library. So you will go to the browse and then search for this package, newtonsoft.json. And then you just want to install it and say accept to the license. But I have already done that so i can just go to my program.cs file and in here i just want to paste in a json string which in is in uh, my variable called json so in some cases where you contact an api you might get a json string in return and the way you want to deserialize this is by saying json convert dot deserialize object and then we want to pass in our object that we created which was the person and then finally we give it the json variable where we have our json string now when we install the newton soft package it will automatically go and be used on the page when you type in the json convert but when you do it like this you have to know all the attributes that the json string are going to provide you because let's say i have now added a cd2 to this string and when we try to print out the values like this where we take the person that we get and take the name the name is going fine because it's it have a name and the city is also going fine but we have a problem when we try to target this because as you can see our objects do not contain a attribute called cd2 but now when you know how you do it with an object that you know then let's try and make this work so that we can access the city2 and for that we want to use the j object and say dot pass and then pass our json string which is still this and let's go and remove this because this is not going to work but when we now use the j object we can actually go and just target it like it was an array so we can go in and say we want the name we want the age and we want the city and actually if we just copy and paste this line we can also say city2 and now we should be able to print the city2 also because we just hold the value now in this custom object that we create but then we also have to know that all this code have nothing to do with the person that we created a model to but let's try to print these variables out to see if we actually get the result that we want so i just created some right lines with the name age city and city2 so let's go and run this and now you can see that the two first lines are actually the first one that we created up here with the person and then say dot name and the person dot city and the next four is then our custom object that we created from the json string but now let's close it again and then let's try to serialize an object so that it's going to be an object that we have we have our person object and then serialize it so that it's going to be a json string so first of all i created this person number two and his name is john and he have an age and he have a city and he do not have a cd2 because we do not have that in our person object and the way we want to serialize this is by saying that it's going to be a string and i'll call it json2 because we already have a json in this file and then again i want to use the json convert dot serialize object this time it's serialized not deserialized and then i put in my person2 so let's go and print this out we say right line json2 so let's go and run the console and as you can see we do now have the string with the object so the last thing i want to show you in this video is how you use it with link because if you get an array of json objects from a server then you can actually go and say let's say that it has to find where the age is 30 and let's create that to a list then you can do it with link so now just copy and paste it in our new object and it's actually an array of object let's see that we have this square bracket and it will close in the other end and we actually also have a comma in here so you can see it's two objects that we have but the class from newton soft that we want to use is the j array and with the j array we can pass in 
an array with objects. So this are just going to be some custom objects that we're going to pass into our J array variable. So it's object that we have not created or that we actually don't know. So it will just create some custom objects instead. So when we use the J array, we can say dot where so we use the link and actually if we scroll up we can also see it included the newtonsoft.json.link to our project but then we say where and then we use this lambda expression where we say x so it will loop through all the values that we have in our array of objects and then the x will be the object and i know this can look a bit confusing but what it's actually doing is that we take the object that we have and just like an array we want to say that this is the index and in this case we want to look at the h and then an important thing because this is an integer then we have to cast this as an int else we cannot compare it to an integer so basically what this will do is that we'll go and find the age which is 30 in every object that we have in the array and then we'll, it will put them in a list so finally we can go and say for each and we want to for each the list that it returns to us so it's just like for eating a, a list just like we used to do and we put the list in and we say what the item is inside the list and you can actually see this is a j token so this is the name of the object that it's going to create and that would be like we call our object for person that we created so they just created a j token to make a custom class that can hold the object but then we loop through the items and actually we only hit one item in this when we create this where clause because we only have two objects in our list and only one of them is 30 but let's go and run this and see how it looks and as you can see we have the right lines here with the item and it just looks a little bit different because this is an actual object and this is a string that we created before but this is basically how you use the newtonsoft.json library there is actually more functionality to it and you can go and check it on my blog i have a link in the description if you want to read more about newtonsoft.json because this is actually just the basics that you can do with the library but i hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and else just have a nice day bye